Oh, hi, friends. Hey, I'd just like to take a little moment to thank everybody for watching all the videos I have been putting up here over the last, actually, a couple of years, actually a little over two years now. And I've been having a great time sharing these old, wonderful memories. Um, and I just wanted to say again, thanks again. I just had a, you know, for all the compliments on the, you know, the song choices I've been putting up. I know some might like ones better than others. That's just, you know, to be expected. But, um, but if you have any feedback on any titles you might want, I'm not sure if I have them, but I'm always welcome for, you know, you, you can just go ahead and, you know, send me messages, you know, asking if, if I have a certain title or artist and I'll be glad to put it on. I'm always getting different records too. Um, you know, now with the summer months here in Minnesota, I go to flea markets and various yard sales and uh, along with the other summer events that are going on that where old records sometimes show up. So, And it's really a fun hobby. I always enjoyed it. I, I have been interested in the audio, audio archiving, record collecting as far back as I can remember. Um, what really started me on the journey of, of um, in this audio, uh, you know, the nostalgia of audio, actually was goes way back to when I was probably about five years old when I got my first uh, transistor radio, and then when I was about I was eight or nine, I got my first record player and got my first 45s, m many of which those original 45s are posted on my. Uh, site here as well, so you, I'm sure you you might have ran across them over the, you know, the, some I think I posted way back when, but just scattered over various times. But all in all, though, it's a it's an enjoyable hobby. It, it can you know it can be time consuming at you know various stages, but I do enjoy it very much, and I want to continue with it. So. Um, also, I, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to be doing this down the road, but I might try to incorporate uh, videos, uh, you know, where I'm talking, where I'm documenting the history of high fidelity equipment. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that. All I know is that's another of my area of my interest. I do got, you know, some old, you know, a lot of old uh, archived inf information from like Stereo Review and High Fidelity magazines, among other publications. Um, one old source that I ran across years ago, and I got some photocopies here. I, it's too bad I didn't have the originals. This was from the, I got this from a couple of local colleges in my area that got this in their archives, but I don't know if ever you heard of, uh, if you can see the name, I don't know. It's just, it's called Electronics. It's just called Electronics Magazine. And they're from the 19, the one, copies I got here are from, this one is actually December 1930, and then I, I ended at about, I think, 1955. Um, but they covered a lot of the, all the, the latest developments on electronic equipment, not just audio or radio, but uh, x-ray, TV, and that was interesting, um, watching TV technology unfold, you know, in these early years. Um, It'd be cool if I could find an actual set of those magazines, though. I mean, I'm sure you know if somebody out there might have have a bunch for sale or whatever, or or if they are just getting rid of them and don't want them, you know, let me know because you know it'd be a shame to have something like that thrown in the trash. Sometimes I've even found a lot of items like this in the trash over the years. When I remember when me and my friend, when we were um, about 19, 20 years old. We went up to this garbage dump up in the Twin Cities metro area. That was back in the oh, 1982, 83 time frame. Actually, no, I take that back, 83, 84 time frame. But it, anyway, it was early, mid 80s. Now, of course, they don't allow anybody to go in those uh, garbage sites because of uh, safety concern, the OSHA rules or whatever they got in place now. But back then, the public could go in there and just check out and I got a huge pile of uh, popular electronics magazines from like the 50s. They were the smaller ones. Not, I mean, they were they were rather thick, but they were the smaller uh, in length and width type magazine. But 
I'll never forget that. They were all they were boxed up, and they looked like brand new yet. And it's like, wow, somebody just threw these away. And I thought, well, like they always say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So I scarfed those right up when I saw them. And it's like that's another place where I learned about some of the old audio equipment, you know, audio, audio components of the early days, the old uh, vacuum tube amplifiers, preamps. I remember seeing brands in there like H.H. Uh, H. Scott, uh, Fisher, Dynakit, and all kinds of different brands. Um, brands you, well, brands that you don't hear about nowadays, of course. Um, but yeah, it was, those were fun reads. I mean, I read the, the, the parts of those magazines I covered were the, on the audio equipment, of course. But it was a really fun find and uh, every so often you'll, you'll still run into something like that. It's getting less and less, obviously. I mean, it's been a long time since I found anything like that. But otherwise, um, like I said, if anybody has any old audio publications out there like that, that you're thinking about getting rid of or whatever, if you think it's in the way or something, just maybe send me a message and let me know and I'll, I might be interested in them. So um, otherwise... That's about it for the day. I don't want to keep rambling on here, but um, yeah, just give me any feedback on what you might want to see or hear for uh, songs or artists. I'm not sure if I have whatever it is you might want, but you know, it's always good to ask. Uh, also, if you want me to start covering a particular genre better, like maybe right now my uh, my my recordings range from the 1920s to uh, I think about 1987, 88 in that in that year. So it, they cover about wait, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, about six, seven decades of uh, of of genres. So otherwise, if you want me to put something newer as well on there, you can just let me know. But um, but that's about it for now and. I'm always I'm always open for feedback on anything, so uh, just let me know and I'll try to get it on there for you. So, hey, thanks a lot, and I'm, I plan on having more continued fun with this. So, thanks a lot, and have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.